Yeah, I'll be showing you how to connect the old Xbox fat fat controller to the computer and play games with that and this is the old fat version of the Xbox controller and the thing is this one will be having uh, you need to change you need to modify the wire at the end to connect it to the system the problem is like uh, what you will be having is a fat version of the USB connector for the Xbox thing what you need to do is cut, cut the wire and get a extra USB wire from some other cable and connect the wires together see as you can see here I connected the respective colors so I can check the coloring red goes red and yellow white and black respectively and connect it and now you can connect it to the system so I make, making this connection is not a problem but the problem comes when you are trying to install the drivers so the problem here is uh, uh, there, there are drivers available for this thing but those drivers are not signed so right now Windows 8 needs a signed driver to install it so to bypass that I'll be showing you the solution I'll be, first I'll be connecting the USB thing so hold on a second connecting I'll be connecting the USB to the computer yeah I'll be back once I connect this is the XBCD which you'll be finding it. I'll be I'll be providing the providing you the link in the description below. So you need to open that and to run it. Yeah. Now click on yes and then yeah. If it's not upgrade, you need to yeah. Yeah. You have to click on the drive drivers option and the source code also and click next. Yeah, next. You need to remember this path. So copy it and next install. Yeah, on system. Yeah, it's done. So the problem now is, yeah, even though you install this driver, it will not be installed in, in the device manager because it's not signed. As I told you, the drivers are not signed. Go to device manager, yeah, device manager, and update driver software. And when you go to browse my computer, and this is the link where, where the drivers will be located. See. Because see the third party INF does not contain the digital signature information so you know how to get this working all you have to do is you have to put your computer in the test mode and then change some variables so I'll be showing you how to do that yeah close it close this close and now click on command i and go to change pc settings and go to general and then scroll down to restart now okay, restarting anyway. You can see other methods on YouTube, but those are actually tough where in which you have to create the certificate and all that crap. But using this method, you don't have to do anything, just you can skip to the final part. So, mm, yeah, go to troubleshoot advanced options then click on starter settings yeah, then restart I'll come back once that's once you, are, you go to that setting. Yeah, as you can see, once you enter startup settings, uh, you can actually change many options. So what you need to do is uh, you need to disable the driver signature enforcement thing. If you disable that, you can actually install the drivers with these. 
so to disable that you need to enter the number respected to the option there so click on 7 now 7 I'll boot up yeah. now core device manager. on our device and then click on update driver software and click browse and yeah and then click on next see yeah you can see that the driver is getting installed windows can't verify the publisher blah 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 and uh, but you can actually install the driver now so install this driver see that the XBCD Xbox controller has been installed yeah, and now you're good to go.